Recently, Reserve Bank of India has published a paper seeking the inputs from the public whether they should shift from targeting headline inflation to the core inflation in terms of policy making. What is headline and core? Let's understand in this episode of Dal Roti Economics. Inflation simply measures the changes in the price level of a basket. Now let's assume in case of consumer price index or the CPI, let's assume this represents the basket. To be very technical here, the CPI basket comprises of 299 items. I can't show you all the 299. Let's assume this represents the 299 items. If you calculate the change in the price level for the complete basket, that is called as headline inflation. But there is one concern here. The headline includes the prices of the commodities such as food and fuel, such as these. The concern is that the prices of these commodities are not stable. These are short-lived. These are temporary experiencing lot of volatility. So when you include the prices of these in the headline, the majority of the change in the pricing could be influenced by the food and fuel articles. And that is the reason there is a demand for using core inflation for policy making. Now what is core inflation? When you say headline, you include all the articles 299. Now simply take out the food and fuel articles. Let's assume this is petrol. You simply take out the food and fuel articles, then calculate the price changes for the remaining items in the basket. That is called as core inflation. Many experts argue core inflation is a better indicator because it excludes the items which experience short-lived price fluctuations. So there you go. That is essentially the difference between headline and core inflation. Right now, under the flexible inflation targeting mechanism, Reserve Bank of India uses the headline for policy making. For more such interesting content, subscribe to our YouTube channel now.